Hi y'all, Connie here. So we've already talked about working under the front loop only. Let's take a closer look at working under the back loop only, all right? So I'm gonna start out with a chain one. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna work under the top two loops. Focus would be nice. Top two loops of our first stitch. So just regular standard single crochet right there. Okay, so looking at this V here, this is your front loop, the one that's closest to you. And then this one is your back loop that's furthest away from you. So when you work into the back loop only, you kind of have to turn your fabric so that you can see the back side of this stitch. So again, we're not gonna work under two loops. We're gonna work under just this back loop. So you've gotta insert your hook between the V. All right, so just like that, right? And that leaves this front loop in the front free, right? Okay, so let's do it again. Back loop only. Got to turn it so we can see it. Because if you just look at from the side, you can't really see that, that back loop back there, right? But we turn it, and there it is right there. Okay? One more. And we'll go under both loops for this last stitch. If I can get in there. Okay? All right, so that leaves these front loops loose on this side and it makes the the stitches sort of slant outward. So this is actually a stitch that is used sometimes for ribbing in a hat. It'll be worked sideways so you'll do the brim with just uh, back loop only stitches and it will give you this kind of rickracky looking kind of fabric. All right so now let's go again. All right so here here is the those are the top two loops right there. So we got to turn it so we can see just that back loop. Insert your hook from front to back or kind of from top to bottom. <laughs> All right. Leaving that front loop free so that we're only working in that back loop right there. And then I'll do two loops on this last stitch. Okay. And so there you see those stitches popping forward and we're getting that kind of, eh, it's kind of hard to tell on the video. You can't see it, but it, it does. It has kind of like a, a rickracky effect. The stitches lean out more by working into the back post or the, the, back, the back loop than they do just working into the front loop. The front loop um, gives you a, a flatter fabric. So here, let's do one more row and I'll show you. So two loops, front loop only, back loop only, front loop only, back loop only, All right? And then we'll go under two loops again. And this isn't gonna look like much of anything. <laughs> But there, can you see them? So there's the, the front loops that we left. And then on this side, then we've got the back loops that we left, right? So let me show you on a bigger swatch. All right, so here is, this is regular uh, single crochet. So it just worked into the top two loops. And then this is single crochet worked into back loops and you can see how textured that is. Can you tell? Yeah, you still can't really tell the the way it it goes back and forth there. But that is much stretchier, bouncier. And so that's why sometimes it's used for ribbing either on sleeves or a hat or something like that. And then it's just worked sideways and then you can join on to the ends of the rows and work the rest of your pattern that way. And then, because I showed you last time in the other video about front loop only, this is what your front loop only fabric would look like. So it's it's much taller um, and flatter than the other ones are. So there you go. That is working into the back loop only and what it would look like if you did a fabric that was all back loop only versus all regular single crochets in the top two loops. So it's pretty cool to see the difference that you can do just by working into a different loop.
All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.